What's going on, Ewan? And welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, man, bringing you back to Let's Play uh, SoCal 3. Last time we were Voldo. We're going to play as Terra this time around. The Harley Quinn of SoCal 3. Mm, I like this one. Nullify ring outs. I like this one, too, because whenever you attack, you have a health boost. Guard impacts with easy. I kind of don't want to use Soul Edge, but it does have that penetrate. Attack power increases as time passes. Um, I kind of don't want to use it though, because health goes down. I'm going to use this one, because because uh, I can recover health when I attack, so I'm going to use this one. Either way, I still am going to win. What's up, Harley Quinn? Since the, she was too young to remember, Tira had lived on the life of an assassin in the European Assassin's Organization known as the Birds of Passage. But during the chaos, when the evil seed rained down, she was set free into the outside world. Unable to grow accustomed to an ordinary lifestyle, she drifted from land to land, siphoning the lives of others. One day, she heard rumors of nightmare. Her heart filled with excitement at the thought of finding another like herself. Tara preserved the rumors and finally made contact. She only gave herself completely to him. As the servant of the cursed sword, she had two duties the release of Soul Edge and the quest for a new host body. Tira soared out into the world on the wings of black feathers. So, Tira. Little Miss Rayblade. Tira traveled the world looking for those who would make appropriate vessels for the cursed sword. There was a warrior woman who had once shattered Soul Edge and later had children. When she shattered the cursed sword, she had taken a fragment of it into her own body. Her children had been born with evil energy infused in their bodies. Tira visited Greece in order to get near those children. Wow. Didn't know Tira was such a doggone human trafficker. She looks too excited. That's how I do that kick. Okay. Come on. Now, Tira, I'm not all that good with. But everybody loves her because of her complex character, considering that she has two different sides to her personality. You see how her mood just switched? Uh, there's two sides to her personality. There's the jolly side, and there's the gloomy side. Tira toyed with them, her mother of his prospective host bodies for a time before deciding to leave. If they continued to fight, it would surely turn serious. Tira didn't expect to lose, but it would be stupid to take on any unnecessary injuries. This woman had once shattered Soul Edge. It would be best to be careful. Calming her excited body, she moved on to her next objective. Since the host had been found, hurry the freeing of Soul Edge. These children are still young, search for other hosts. Man, hmm. Nah, I don't want to go after kids, man. The siblings' bodies were a perfect fit, but unfortunately they were too young. She couldn't shake the feeling that they wouldn't be able to fully draw the, out the power of the sword. Tira decided that an interim body was necessary, and continued to wander in search of potential hosts. She traveled to an arena where strong warriors were said to gather, and decide, and waited until that day's winner was decided. Was this man powerful enough to be worthy of the sword? Man, I want to fight in the cage! Every time you come across this one, it's the one without the cage. Oh, it's Dragon! Wait a second, let me look at the command list. Does she have any unblockables? Oh, okay. There's one. Hold on, guys. I'll be back. 
man, what is up with these system glitches, I tell you. Yeah, I'm going to just get up. I'm going to just put the car up here. Okay. There we go. For those of you who know, I have a graphics enhancer that I use to record to make my videos look clear when I'm using, when I'm playing these older ones. But yeah. She don't got nothing good. Nothing but that. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Woo, I can get in his face. of time. The man had been ruthless. Yeah, it should have been rock. The material left the arenas and set her eyes on those who were wandering the world in search of Soul Edge. Obviously, they wouldn't all be appropriate for the sword, but anyone who was successfully closing in on the sword had at least some potential. Tyr waited at Ostrheinsberg Castle, nightmare the wielder of Soul Edge had once dwelt here. It was the perfect place to test those who were seeking the sword. <laughs> She's trolling Sophie through right now. And it's funny. Hmm. <laughs> you tell her, Sophie. I can't I can't even get mad at that. A lot of tough talk you were doing back at Yuridai Shrine. Come here. Ugh, put my knees on your chest. Ugh. Dang, man. You ain't got a bad one like this. The warrior who had appeared was the mother of those two children. Seeing the skills that had once enabled her to shatter Soul Edge had not waned, but she was no match for Tyr. Tyr let loose the impulses which lurked within her and sated herself in battle. She was now bored of playing with them. Staying in this place any longer seemed like a waste of time. It was unlikely anyone worried to go to Peter. Pursue Siegfried in order to release Soul Edge. First, increase Soul Edge's power. Hmm. Let's do this first. Valentine mentioned, in order to release Soul Edge, the sword first needed to grow in power. It was weak from the struggles with the spare sword. The best swords to increase Soul Edge's power were those that were connected to it. Sarah's to Tira set her sights on a woman who carried the sword's blood in her veins. Tira went to the mansion in which her target lurked and snuck inside. He said, "I'm not." She said, "I'm not even expecting that much from you." That's that's kind of cold blooded. Ugh. Don't you dare tell me. See, look, she just went from jolly to gloomy in a second. Tara felt like she was being watched. Sorry, ahead. Clock tower. Tara successfully attained the soul and continued hunting for more. She harvested several more souls before beginning the task of freeing Soul Edge. Zigfrey was the man who had sealed Soul Edge by piercing it with the spirit sword. Even now, he carried the sword in hiding. She traveled from land to land in search of him. A man appeared before her, claiming to know where Zigfrey's whereabouts. Okay. <laughs> 
this is her as a monster? Please. Bring it, Zaslomel. Okay, we hit each other. No! He would duck and throw me. Good counter! Bruh! Trash. Dancing around you. Nope. Throw it. Hit. Alright, second time's the charm. <clears throat> Man, what the hell? Alright, third time's the charm. Man, oh my god. Bruh, like. Dude. Bruh. It's only gonna get worse from here, I already know. He's lucky I am trash with two. I tried to duck, and it wouldn't let me duck. See, look at that! He automatically just gets that. He rings me out. Okay, good, good, good. That actually did more good for me than harm. Let's go. The one you seek is searching for a place to seal the cursor away from humanity. If you intend to take it back from him, then head east to find its trail. With these words, the man with the scythe disappears as if melting away, leaving only terror behind. Follow the man's words and hitties. His words cannot be trusted. Continue investigating independently. Yeah, let's do that. Man, screw your words. Terror remembered the man who had revived in the form of a nightmare. He hit the small amount of evil energy that had escaped the seal. The man with the scythe was surely that man. She would want to power from his soul, but she would need to harvest it at some point. Devouring that soul would surely have been great straight to her master so much. Traveling through Europe, Tira confirmed that Siegfried had already left for this land. Upon obtaining information someone had, uh, that someone had, resembling him had left for the east, she set out east in pursuit of his trail. After a while, she had a rumor of a young man who was purifying tainted lands. Wherever he went, someone was purging evil energy. Wherever he found it, it was a danger to her master. If I can take a wild guess, we're gonna have to fight Keelik here, right? He's on the ground. Of 
That's the that's the that's the stupid part. It can't hit while it's on the ground. And every time. Oh my god. Ooh. Man. Oh my. You see this? Stop it. Man! Oh my god. Screw you and your long range bow. Do that, boy! Come here. Ah. You gonna just do that every time? Dude, I did not. Was I jumping? I was side. I could have sworn I was sidestepping. I could have sworn I was sidestepping, and I let go of guard. I don't know why I registered as a jump. That did not mean a guard impact. Get away from that. Nope. Ew. And I'm dead, right? Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Okay. Yeah. Come here. Oh, he knew. But he didn't know that. <laughs> Tira entered the mountains where the young man was said to live and defeated him after a fierce battle. He had Soul Ledge's evil energy in his body, but he was so skilled he was able to suppress it. If she let him be, he would surely become a threat to the sword at some point. It was her duty to eliminate dangers of this nature. This soul with its evil energy would surely make a great sacrifice to Soul Edge. Afterwards, she continued drifting from land to land in her efforts to capture Siegfried, but she found no sign of him. It was very likely that he noticed his pursuit. One day, Tyr realized that she too was being bottled by someone. It was probably a relative of someone she had previously killed or something of that nature. She wasn't afraid, but interference at this point would be annoying. In order to shake off her pursuer, she headed for a poor city where the paths of the east and west meet. India. Okay. Maxi. Ooh, he's got the chain Kozuka. Seeing the man had judged her to be an enemy because of her evil energy. He too may have been one who was seeking to destroy Soul Edge. But it no longer mattered. He had already been eliminated. Tara remembered that she had entered this city in order to throw off her pursuer, and she quickly disappeared into the crowds. No matter how skilled the person following her was, there was no way they could pick up her trail now. Tara continued her search and finally succeeded in locating her prey. It seemed that he was heading even further east. He was probably following the rumors of the organization of the Far East that was collecting fragments of Soul Edge. And while Terra entered Japan, she was caught up in the armed conflict. He must have set this up to shake her from his trail. At first, she was angry at this trickery, but he soon lost herself in the joy of the battlefield. Oh, we gotta fight Mitsurugi. <laughs> These Japanese people after stage 5 be hard! And he has the the armor break weapon. Uh. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Nope. No. I'm hitting cake. Thank you. That was weird. Ah. See what I'm saying? I 
He was waiting for me. Everything is either a block or a counter with this asshole. Yeah, we know. Kick it in your... for that because I saw him hold his sword up I was prepared for that I wasn't prepared for that though bro if he gets a perfect on me yes okay I got a hit come here you're not supposed to reverse those thank you they gave me that I got lucky Afterwards, she continued to pursue Siegfried and eventually arrived at a cathedral in an area far from civilization. Her target was here, and so was Soul Edge. When she had entered the cathedral, she sensed that the Azra Knight, being who can, the being who contained the will of her master Soul Edge, had come here as well. The time for her master to arise was at hand, but the pair of eyes that had followed Tira had now had her firmly in view. Oh, it's your Shimitsu again? Ah! That's what I'm saying. But now nah, I love Yoshi. Oh. No. No, screw you. Oh, I forgot that doesn't hit downward. Come here. should not have done that. How does that kick do so much damage? You're so vulgar. Oh, God. Die! The turn below. No. Toe kicks. Thank you. I'll take it. Kick your ass. Literally. Oh my god. And he body slams me for the win. <laughs> How are you able to pick me up along with your sword? <laughs> That's freaking amazing. Ugh. No. Oh, come on, bro. Ugh. Jump kick. Ass mm. Ah, that slam again! Man, I was behind him and I couldn't throw him. Ah, this is BS, dog. Yeah. No, I hit down and kick, you idiot. Down and kick. You should have done that, you idiot. And that doesn't hit low, I forget. Uh -huh. See, you should have launched me. You should have never tried to launch me without trying to capitalize. Now you're going to pay for it. Now you're going to pay for it, you dumb bitch. Me too, Tira. Me too. Good lord. Man, you can break through those bars. It took a few moments for her to break through the bars blocking her way. The sharp sounds she had heard grew ever fiercer. As Tira hurried inside, the sound of a death scream echoed in her ears. It seemed that the battle was over. Was it her master that awaited her inside? She had an uneasy feeling. It was Siegfried, of course. But why would we go against Nightmare if we serve him? Simple. Who else would it be? Uh-uh. I think you're next, buddy. You don't stop on my toe? No. Nope. Ah. Oh, I couldn't even sidestep, man. And I'm dead. At least he didn't get a perfect. 
swallow a nut. See that coming. That little twin kick. <laughs> he smacks you with his hill, slashes you horizontally, and then comes down and slashes you vertically. No, I kicked him first! How did he get up so quick? the slide kick. looking mother anyway oh, I had you and he smacks me with the hilt no kick you in the face come here uh, uh. Oh! I did not want to do that I did that because I knew he was gonna get it and you see, as you can see, he won't let me get up, dickhead. What? Dude! Oh, you dick face! Mm. Oh, my freaking lord! Man, man, oh my! Before I can even get a freaking chance, bro. Come here. Let me get a toe kick. What? That DT again? No, get up. Ah, I did not want to jump on one of the side step, but it, this game is not want to register my. Guards on, let me let it go. A guard on time. I thought I sidestepped, man. Damn. Let, let me get my sidesteps off, Namco. Let me get my sidesteps. So this bitch can't take advantage of shit. Bro, what the hell? What? Nope. Come here. Come here, you bitch! All right. <sighs> no, you dick, brother. Oh my! Yeah, you're not perfect to me. 
Mm. See what is that? See, he can he can he can break those from the side. Come here. Why can't I break those from his side? Oh my God! Come here. See what is that? Do you see how he can just break those from his side? That should not be. That should not be even freaking possible, man. Do you see how he just keeps breaking throws from the side? How is that possible? This AI is unreal, bruh. Oh my god! Uh. Come here! Get kicked in your shit! He would grab me too. No. Man, every time. And he gets every single freaking throw. No, that's it. Video cut. You seven. Word. Six. Oh, this guy needs to rot in pieces. How did I not get a hit off that? Thank you. Nope. E. I knew you were gonna get up, you dick. See? He gets a side throw every time! Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this bullshit? No. No. Mm-mm. I'm sick of your bullshit! Stay there and eat concrete! Fucker. Stay there and eat concrete. Oh, y'all. Whoo! Do you know how rage inducing that was? Last one though. <clears throat> Using my the sword that I serve against me. That's only gonna be his downfall. Okay. Ready? Now go ahead and break my weapon so I can use Soul Edge against you and put you to your doom. Yeah, that's it. Oh. I didn't press it on time. I might lose this first attempt because of that. I'm already at half health. He sidesteps that. No. Come here. No. The fucking weapon killed me. Oh my. 
He said he gets such a good start on me. I can't even recover in time. Look at this. See ya. Tried to stop him. Okay, no perfect. The rubber killed me again! <laughs> no! Ah, I hate that freaking move. <laughs> freaking hell, man! That's the shit I'm talking about, bro. Come here. Man, how is he able to break my guard while he's in mid? Of any animation! Do you see this? He's mid animation and he breaks my throw. How does he do that? How come I can never do that, game? Look at this fucking shit. Look at this. This is that shit I'm talking about, like, right fucking here. Yeah, no. Ah! Get up in time to guard against that? This is bullshit. Look at this. Bro, I'm about to break this. Oh my god. How about to say he better not reverse my throw? Oh my lord. It's like I walk right into see, it's like the millisecond I get some going, here he comes. Stage your welcome privileges. Bring on the fat head. Sorry, I wanted to sound like Dr. Hansterville and I failed. Controls motionless and see what happens. He's already stuck. She's already stalking. Okay, she decides to go left. 
man, she finds the kids. That happens. <laughs> oh, of course that happens. Canonically, it did happen, but man, Tara's a damn creep. I'm gonna just be honest. She thinks kids are gonna be a strong source of the world host body for the sword. Yeah, that's Tara. I want to say that's her gloomy voice introducing the game. I'm not sure if she has her, not her gloomy, her jolly voice. I wonder if her gloomy voice has, um, an introduction. Anyway. Let's see what happens if she goes the right way. This will be the end of a rage inducing playthrough. Hope y'all like it. Let's see what happens if she goes right. Slipping. She about to bounce. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon for some more Soul Calibur 3 when we play as Keelik next week. My ace. Till then. Ooh, Soul Edge is taking a rover. I'll see you guys next week. Deuces.